Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you how to descale this Braun Pure Flavor 14 cup coffee maker, model number KF5650. I'm gonna show you how you can use either distilled white vinegar or the Braun descaling solution. But before we begin, Braun has changed the way you descale a coffee maker. They have a descale mode that you put the coffee maker into and you've gotta complete the mode from start to finish in order for the clean light to go out. So is your clean light on, steady, or flashing? That means it's time to descale your coffee maker. Is your coffee not as hot? Does it not taste as good as it used to? Is it taking a long time to brew? And is your coffee maker really loud? Those are all signs that it could be time to descale. So I've got the manual for this. We're gonna be following the manual step by step. But first, let's talk about the Braun descaling solution. This can be a little hard to find. It's part number BRSC013. It's enough for two doses and it costs $15. Comes in a bottle. You've got to cut the tape on the side to find the directions, but they're, they're inside here. And the reason it's got these markings is because that's the first dose and that's the second dose. So you can clean your coffee maker twice. You only use one dose per cleaning, per cleaning which is 100 milliliters. So the directions say use 100 milliliters of descaling solution and use one liter of water. That's the ratio you use when you're using the Braun descaler. So one liter is almost one quart of water. So the first thing, open your lid, take your carbon water filter out. We're, not, we're gonna leave it out for the duration. And take your, if you've got a permanent filter in, take it out. We need to leave the brew basket in though. The brew basket needs to stay in. You need to give yourself about 45 minutes start to finish to complete this. So I've already used this solution one other time. So now I'm gonna just, I've got, just one serving left or one. I'm just going to pour it into the carafe. Now you have to add one liter of water, but if you don't have a measuring cup, I like to bring it up right to the seven cup mark. When I did my measuring, if I put one liter of water in there with the descaling solution, it, com it comes up right about to the seven cup mark. Between the six and eight, there's another mark. That's the seven cup. Okay, so I, fin I finished filling the craft up to the seven cup mark with just fresh water. Okay, so let's say you wanna use vinegar instead of the descaling solution that I used here. So you would add one, I add a quarter cup of pure vinegar. I use distilled white vinegar. Um, this whole jug cost a buck 50 at Walmart, but you can use white vinegar. You would use a quarter cup, measuring cup of pure vinegar, pour it into the craft and then fill the craft up to the seven cup mark with fresh water. That would give you the proper ratio for vinegar. The manufacturer says you can use vinegar or the Braun descaling solution. They do recommend the Braun descaling solution, but I have found sometimes this can be hard to get a hold of. I will put a link to this in the show description notes. So now either whether you have the vinegar or the Braun descaling solution, you're just gonna pour it back here where the water goes. Make sure your lid's on your craft, put the craft back. Make sure you close this. Okay, so turn your coffee maker on. You're gonna hit the clean button, but then I also gotta hit, I gotta hit the set button. Okay, so you hit the clean button and hit the set button. It's a, it's a little different than previous Braun coffee makers, but it did beep at me to let me know that it went into cleaning mode. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna start uh, running that vinegar and water through or that Braun descaling solution through the coffee maker. This is gonna take about 15 minutes to complete this. Now, we wanna leave the machine alone because after it's done running the descaling solution through, the clean light is gonna beep really fast at us. That's telling us it's time to do the fresh water rinses. So you leave the coffee maker alone you empty this, put fresh water in the back, and then hit the set button again, and that starts the fresh water rinse. It's a descale mode that you've got to stay in. It's, a, it's, it's completely different than how Braun used to do descale. So I always wondered why we descaled coffee makers. Here I've got a Cuisinart. Coffee makers are all made about the same. You've got this warming plate, and on the bottom of the warming plate, you've got this heating element. It's an aluminum heating element. The Braun's got one just like this on the bottom. I've cut this open to show you that when you have hard water, it builds up inside this heating element. So the water comes in from the reservoir 
it gets heated and then shot back out up this one to go over the coffee grounds. So here when I cut it open, you can see that if your hard water deposits build up on there, it can clog off that and your water won't get heated as good and it, your water won't taste as good. And this is what makes your coffee the maker really loud too. Okay, so it paused a little bit. So you, it makes you think that it's done. It brewed a little bit, um, but then it pauses and then it's gonna pick back up brewing that rest of that uh, solution through. So right now I would call the clean light is doing a slow flash. It kind of, it's on and off, on. That means we're still in the, it's running the solution through. Okay, so it, it doesn't beep at you or anything, but you, it gets really loud and you can, you know it, you know it's done brewing when it kind of stops brewing, but the clean light is really, is quickly flashing now. So leave the coffee maker alone. You're just gonna take this, be careful this is hot, empty this out, wash this out with soap and water, and fill it up with fresh water. Okay, so be careful this can be hot. I do like to rinse this off too because it can have some uh, vinegar on it. I've got this filled up with fresh water now. We're gonna pour the fresh water in. Again, I haven't touched the controls on the panel. Close your lid, put your craft in. Now it says just hit the set button. So it just did a really small beep at me. Now it's going to do a fresh water rinse. The clean light went back to slow flashing. So now the fresh water rinse, it doesn't pause. It's just running it through like a normal coffee, but with just fresh water. Okay, so at the end of this, at the end of this first fresh water rinse, it was slow flashing, and then when it finished, it, all the lights just went out. So I came out of descaling mode. Again, I'm going to I'm going to rinse this out, fill this up with hot water. I'm going to do one more fresh water rinse by just brewing some hot water through the machine. So the descale mode, it comes out of the descale mode automatically after the first rinse. But I still think you need to do one, sometimes two more rinses. OK, so I'm going to do one more fresh water rinse. I got this filled up with fresh water. Just pour it in the back here. This time I've got to manually start it though. I've got to put the craft in, turn it on, and just hit a fast brew. Just do a fast brew. That's gonna run that water through the machine. When it's all done, throw it out, and the coffee maker should be ready to go. If you still have a taste or smell, maybe run one more pot of water through it. So I wanna also show you, the machine has a water softness level. So, turn, so after you're done with all the brewing, turn the machine on, hold the clean button down, and it's gonna start flashing. Hit the set button, so see we've got H1, H2, H3. H3 is hard water, H1 is soft water, H2 is, is normal water. Then just hit the clean button one more time, it memorizes that hard water setting. So the coffee maker will act differently depending on where you set that hard water softness level. If you don't know, put it on H2, but if you've got really bad hard water, like a bunch of a lime buildup around where the water comes out of your faucets, Put it on H3. Hope the video helped. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.